Welcome, this is question number 10 on the 10 Ready Geometry practice test. Question 10 says the a circle was represented by the equation x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. That's the standard form of a circle. The actual generically standard form is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we'll get to all that in a minute. You may remember when you did quadratics, so if you're drawing this thing, and let's say this one is at 2 and 1. That's our vertex here. So when you set that up, you had x minus h squared plus k. But what you may hopefully remember doing is that when you had your k value, that you just kept the y value, so that worked perfect. So plus 1 worked. But since the formula had minus h in it, this 2 become, becomes essentially a minus 2. So you'd have that. That was how that related. That's how we did that in quadratics. Same thing here. So when I'm trying to find h and k, which in this case is no longer the vertex but the center point of the circle, I need to remember that because this is negative 1, x minus 1, in order to get h, I need to take the opposite of negative 1, which is positive 1. Same thing here. y minus 2 means that the k value is actually just the 2. If this had been y plus 2, then it would be negative 2. You have to change the sign, is my overall point. The last thing that you want to find, because that gives us our center point, so at 1, 2, it's, this looks good, this one's okay. This one's down at negative 1, so that's out. This one's down at negative 1, negative 2 as well, so that one's out. I need to find r squared. Now, 4 is r squared, so I need to take the square root to find my radius. r is equal to 2. The reason I take the square root, of course, is because the opposite of square is square root. So that means, um, and it could be plus minus 2, but since it's an actual distance, you don't have negative distances. This is the radius that I'm looking for. This circle has a radius of 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's out. But here we go, 1, 2, and it has a point at 1, 2, and a radius of 2 on all sides. We're good to go. So my answer to number 10 is A. The big thing about this is when you work with circles, make sure that you remember, uh, if you, even if you can't remember how to write the formula out, that you can find the center point looking here and here, but you have to make sure it's opposite sign than the one that's originally given in the equation. And you also need to take the square root of, the, of this side when it says equal to because it's radius squared and not just radius.